So let's talk a little bit about Stoicism. The object of a Stoic's life is to be happy and to be in harmonious, in harmony with society and, well, as much as possible with society and with the nature. And to a Stoic, God and the universe are the same thing. So to be in harmony with God would be another way of saying it. So the Stoic is always concerned about themselves doing the right thing, thinking the right thoughts, saying the right thing. They're more concerned about that than any of the circumstances that happen in the outer world. And by that, it means that e even if it's a difficult circumstance and they meet it with the four virtues of being a Stoic, which are wisdom, courage, justice, and um, moderation, when they meet them with that degree of being themselves at their best, then it doesn't matter so much what happens. They have preferences and they have reactions to, but they choose to focus on what they can totally control. The only things they can totally control are what they're thinking and what they're doing. And so being courageous and virtuous in all those other ways is something they can control. They cannot control what you do or what happens in the news or what's happening with the weather or even what's happening with their body. They can't totally control it. We all may think we can influence our bodies by working out and going to the gym or eating well or uh, thinking good thoughts, but ultimately this thing will die. And so it's not completely under their control. So their idea is, let's not focus on what is not ours to control. Let's notice it. Let's try to make improvements with it. Let's do what we can. But when it comes down to mattering, what really matters is, am I being a good person? By their definition of a good person, which is someone who is wise, who knows the difference between what is mine and what is not mine. Someone who is courageous, who's willing to speak truth to power or do whatever it takes in the face of the possibility of loss or death. To be just, to treat everyone as an equal, to treat everyone with love, to treat everyone as though they deserve as much good as the next. And finally, to be moderate. This is where, in the modern world, I think we fall down quite a bit. Moderation is in moderation right now, and it needs moderation needs to be in excess. So we need to strengthen that one as well. And so as long as they're working within the parameters of those virtues, anything could happen, and they could be in harmony with the universe. They could be happy. And many of you are the same. Many of you feel the same sense of resilience to it. But at times we get weaker when we begin to bring our attention onto that which we cannot control and make that more important than how we are responding to it. This shift of attention from the inner to the outer and letting the outer dictate our happiness this is the beginning of losing control. Withdraw your thoughts back into yourself to judge how the day went, not by what happened to you, but how you were in it. This is the process of, of being a stoic. And uh, how many things seem to be outside of our control? But it does command enough of our attention now that we could lose our sense of harmony with the world by paying attention to that. Instead of being in harmony in our world because we recognize I can do what I can do and then I must release it.
as long as I can stay virtuous in the process of doing it. As long as it's possible for me to stay in harmony with the universe, I will do it. I will do it if I can, and I will give it my very best because I believe in virtue of courage and wisdom. I will give it my best shot, I may fail, but I will maintain that I did it within the process, within the circle of virtue. And therefore, I will still be happy. I will still be happy no matter what the outcome, because I have been virtuous. And I think it's a good balance to have, to take responsibility for what's in your world and how it is showing up, as perhaps it is a reflection of the way you have thought, feel, felt, and acted in the past, but also to recognize that in this moment, in this very moment, I can only do what I can do, which is to manage my thoughts and my actions. And if I manage my thoughts and actions in this moment, then I am in harmony with the universe. We can influence the world by our thoughts and feelings and actions, but we can't control all of it. Because it turns out that the whole world is connected. And though our radiance may touch a good distance, there are other radiances coming your way. And maybe it's best to know, as the most resilient people do know, not everything is going to go your way. It never has, and it never will. There will always be obstacles. Those obstacles are what cause you to become stronger and the and the obstruction is the way to become better so we greet the obstacles with a sense of resilience and say ah so here's my chance to be stronger